lights. So we're gonna have to go get a new switch and see if we can get that to work. Okay, so now that we diagnose this as a headlight, you know, dimmer switch, basically what we've done is disconnected this yellow wire and the gray wire. The gray wire goes to the illumination on the dashboard here, the instrument cluster and all that. And this yellow wire basically sends it a signal when the ambient light sensor gets signal that it's dark. You get power on this yellow wire, which then in turn sends power out on this gray wire to illuminate the dash. So that's exactly what we did is just took these two out of the connector here and hot wired them together. And it should work just fine. The dimmer will be on full brightness the whole time, but you know, you don't need a dimmer. Okay, so now we've got this all taped up nice and neat so it's not going to short anything out. Put the headlight switch back in. So here we go, we got everything put back together and everything's working. We're out in the sunlight. Headlights are off, you can still see the radio and everything. The lights are off here, but you can see the gear selector and odometer and everything. Have a couple of service lights on. But here, we'll show you. So the, the lights behind the dash are out right now. We'll pull into the garage just so you can see the headlights when they kick on. It'll turn on the light behind it and nothing else will dim out. So give it a second. And there we go. We just turn the headlights on. So they come on with the uh, dimmer switch there. You know, the ambient light sensor is still working properly. Nothing else is dimmed out. Everything's working like it should.